In this video, we're gonna have a look at Redacted Cartel. This is an upcoming DAO. It's actually an Olympus fork, but a legit sub DAO of Olympus. And this one's gathering a bit of pace here in the Curve Wars, which we looked at earlier this week. I would suggest checking this video out uh, before watching this one if you don't know anything about the Curve Wars and how Redacted Cartel builds into this. Very, very interesting. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out the pinned comment down below. Now let's just jump over here. So this is a statement from DeFi Llama and they've got this nice little one-liner about Redacted. So Redacted Cartel is an initiative using the protocol-owned liquidity mechanics of Olympus DAO to accumulate as much liquidity as possible from the Curve ecosystem in order to have a majority say over the Curve gauge. This one's only been out since around mid-December. So they had this initial bonding event, and this is fully backed by Tetranode, one of the DeFi OGs and mega whales out there. And as he says, an official Olympus fork that he's been buying into. So it has blessing from some of the top guys out there, and it's just not another Olympus fork as there have been so many of these. So the supremacy for Curve in terms of directing these CRV rewards to the pool of your choosing continues. And now we're seeing this game stepping up with more and more DAOs coming in to fight the battle. So Curve being the protocol that everyone wants to control, Convex changed the game a little bit and now own a majority stake in Curve with over 50% of the tokens. And so we can think of Redacted as sitting almost a layer above this once again, trying to gain control over all of these different protocols in their own specific way. So the battle for the Curve voting mechanics continues. So you may have heard of this protocol already, and it is making some serious waves here in the DeFi landscape. So the token itself has a market cap of over half a billion dollars already, even though it's been out for just say three weeks, I think it is right now. You can purchase it on SushiSwap, Uniswap, or my preferred method, which is to use Matcha. I'm in no way suggesting you go and buy this one. Of course, do your own research. I've bought a small amount as a speculative play here, but it is with high risk. That is for sure. This token launched at about 800 bucks, had a hell of a ride up here to around 3,500, dipped towards New Year's, and then has gone back up once again. Of course, Bitcoin is trying to rug us right now, and so we've got a bit of a dip on our hands once again, but this has been comfortably above 3K for the last few days here. So in their own words here, they talk about Curve and how it's established itself as one of the key building blocks in the DeFi ecosystem. So utilizing its DAO and gauge mechanism as a gatekeeper for success among some of the fastest growing protocols in DeFi such as Convex and Abracadabra. So the influence of Curve is something that many protocols want to have control over. Hence what we're seeing here is more DAOs like this being set up to try and control the voting power. So Redacted Cartel is an initiative using the protocol-owned liquidity mechanics of Olympus to accumulate as much liquidity as possible from the Curve ecosystem in order to have a majority say over the Curve gauge, therefore controlling the votes and then being able to direct the CRV rewards as they wish. So the cartel does not aim to act maliciously, rather gamify and decentralize the process of bribing the gauge through a DAO. Using concepts from Olympus model, we will make a black hole for Curve, Convex, and Curve LP tokens and manifest a DAO that has a majority say in the Curve gauge. Think of it as gauge as a service, they suggest. So they will not be employing farm and dump tactics. This is all about making a black hole for these various tokens. And this inevitably drives the demand for Curve, Convex, and the LPs, as they mentioned. And they've therefore created their own flywheel, which we will take a look at in just a moment to explain further. But the power of this flywheel helps to further bolster the intrinsic value of the butterfly token. They've got some very interesting proposals on the table right now. You may have heard of Curvance potentially if you're in the DeFi space, but they've got a proposal here and they've been offered a 0.37% seed round investment of the total Curvance supply here. So Curvance allows you to deposit assets from Convex, Curve and Yearn to earn and borrow with this protocol. This is going to build on top of Curve and could be a very good strategic partnership here to have. So a DAO that's investing into these various protocols that could be very big in their own right makes a lot of sense. And it just seems like they're going to be positioning themselves as a key player in the Curve Wars. Some of the other DAO proposals right now, Phantom DAO Partnership here, Squid DAO Partnership, and one that's just passed down here is a proposal to bond FXS, the FRAX share, and this one has passed. 
So the bonding process, which we'll also look at slightly later in the video, is whereby you take in these various tokens and offer a discount on the butterfly token in return. You then have a black hole, so these FXS will go into the treasury, will start reaping yield off these, but they will never be sold. So we have the early days of a very strong potential DAO forming here. We can also see from their dashboard over on June Analytics that the numbers are going up nicely, as you would expect. The price generally of Butterfly has been going up as well, and the number of holders has been going up additionally to this. Over on Etherscan, there was around 670 holders so far. And if you think about like Time Wonderland or Ohm, they have many, many thousands of holders. So over time, if this does continue to grow with more holders coming in, more people wanting to bond their various assets here, well, this could set this up to become a very strong DAO into the future. So the upside is there, of course, high risk, high reward. So what is the butterfly effect and this kind of cog or flywheel they talk about? Where they say metamorphosis increases bonded tokens in the treasury, the DAO utilizes bonded assets to generate yield. So when a user invests in governance tokens, they will naturally be seeking the highest yield for their risk taken. Whilst interacting with Redacted, they will bond their token through metamorphosis and will receive an equivalent amount of discounted butterfly. By locking up their assets in our treasury, they are effectively taking them off the secondary market, decreasing the circulating supply available. In addition to the secondary market liquidity shortage, the tokens will also be used in various yield strategies, hence generating even more yield to further grow this treasury. And so the underlying value of the butterfly token, its intrinsic value will start to grow. And this positive feedback loop creates a constant upward pressure on the fundamentals of the protocol, allowing for natural growth of this treasury. So take tokens in, generate yield through your various strategies and keep that cog rotating. TVL over time should increase. In terms of the utilization of these treasury assets then, the redacted protocol exists in an interesting space, being that it is in our best interest that the tokens that we are bonding to a treasury prosper within the DeFi ecosystem. This means that with Curve, Convex, and the governance ohm liquidity that we're building out, we want to ensure that as a protocol, we are leveraging them for revenue while not being in the business of farming and dumping. So good for the overall health of this ecosystem and good for revenue going forward for those getting involved with this. So with an asset like Convex, they take 12.5% of all the assets that come in, turn them into BVE CVX, they keep 75% as vote locked CVX and 12.5% as liquid. And in terms of those rewards, then the external token and bribe rewards go into the treasury. 75% of the rewards of CVX earned rerouted through the strategy once more and 25% of convex earned are kept liquid. You can see for curve then 65% gets converted into convex curve. 15% goes towards the convex curve and curve LP position and 20% liquid into treasury. Three curve rewards get farmed on convex. Convex rewards route to the convex strategy. 50% of curve rewards kept liquid and 50% of curve rewards go into CVX CRV, hence looping back round and overall bolstering TVL and the number of assets within this treasury. So a really cool article here from Money with Carter. And he says about the curve wars, his preferred play within this is actually the redacted cartel. He says it's the first authorized ohm fork that has approval of top ohm team members and is backed by Tetranode and other notable DeFi participants. Currently it earns over 165,000% APY and priced around two and a half grand. I'm extremely bullish on Butterfly because it's backed by Curve and Convex. So he says this matters because Curve Wars are gonna probably play out as he expects and go maybe two or three X from here, but Butterfly may return a four to five X whilst still getting those extremely high yields along the way. Hence, it's a leveraged exposure on the curve wars. So he says, if you missed ohm and missed time, this one may be for you. So ways to play the curve wars, easy mode, as we looked at earlier, convex and curve. Intermediate mode would be to buy some CVX and some Frax shares, but the degen and YOLO mode here is to go heavy into Butterfly and get those massive returns. So the initial distribution of Butterfly was via auction, and you could utilize your Olympus, curve, or convex within this, and you can see the ending price for these various assets. So this bootstrapped the whole of the protocol. Now, if you go to bond, you can see what you can bond currently. So you can bond some curve, convex, or Butterfly Ohm LP positions and they will typically give you a discount on the current market price of 
butterfly. However, as Bitcoin is dipping as we speak right now, you can see that the bond price is actually greater than the market price. This is not typically the case, and this number is typically lower than the market price of butterfly in typical market conditions. But as I say, there's current volatility in the market as I'm filming. But this bond process allows you to deposit these various assets. They go into the black hole and you get a discounted butterfly token. There is a vesting period then. You will get those tokens over five day term. And so this provides economic incentive for people to actually deposit these in here. And of course, butterfly token has a huge APY. So you can see from this, the current APY is now up to 190,000%. You come in here, you stake your tokens. If you've got some, you approve the usage of your butterfly, then approve the stake. It'll cost you a couple percent of ETH to do so, but you can recoup these funds pretty quickly with this massive APY. And they have given out this, which is a Google Docs calculator showing exactly how much you can get as a return right now. So if you state 10 butterfly at an average price of 3,200 bucks as it was earlier today, and the APY was 174,000 percent, well, in 30 days, your 10 would turn into 18.5 butterfly. And in 90 days, that 10 would turn into 63. But even simpler down here, to 2x your number of butterfly tokens, it takes roughly 34 days only. I would not expect these APYs to last all that long. As we've seen with the likes of Time and Ohm, they do come down. And so I would suggest being sensible with this, investing 32 grand and expecting 174,000 APY 365 days out and yielding you $57 million is a little bit of a stretch. But potentially on these shorter term time horizons, you can see what kind of returns can be reaped from such a high APY. But this is where it is very high risk, but potentially high reward. So Redacted Cartel are entering the curve wars in a big way. As we've seen, they're taking in Curve, Convex, and LP tokens, but they've also approved Frax shares recently, and I'm sure they will be branching out into other DeFi governance tokens down the line as well. So this could be a very interesting mix as time goes forward here and seeing exactly how this all plays out. This is one of the few Ohm forks that I'm actually interested in, and it's a very new one. And I think in general, getting involved with these DAOs at the earliest stage is best, of course, not financial advice. So if you enjoyed the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.